Hello and welcome to Boring Dad Gaming, where today I'm going to be playing The Red Lantern. Uh, now I'm a bit upset about this one actually, because um, I'm annoyed that <laughs> with myself that I only just found out there's a game that came out in December 2021 that lets you play as uh, sort of the leader of a, uh, a pack of huskies going out on your sled into the wild and uh, helping these dogs to survive and get to where you're going and I mean it looks just super cute and really fun and I can't believe I'm only just learning about it now. <laughs> That's crazy. Uh, this is exactly the sort of thing I like. So we're gonna just uh, start a new run there. Looks like it's just keyboard controls. Not played this before. So very much looking forward to it. Do you have those moments that just stick out in your mind? Those ones that just stay with you forever. When I was a kid, I was told, you are what you do. Oh, so no, choose nice. wisely. He's and a good boy. I tried to choose doctor. That didn't take. I can still hear him. You know, this, this just isn't for you. But I knew what they meant. This just isn't you. Look around, yeah, we discovered that. a problem for you, is it, buddy? Chomper, world's Chomper. best pup and friend. Chaser of squirrels, smeller of city streets, and chewer of literally everything. <laughs> see, you know exactly who you are. <laughs> oh, I, he's a good I wish boy. I could see the same. I probably should have had a backup plan, huh? Guess I haven't exactly made the best decisions lately. <laughs> Except for adopting you, of course. Without you, I'd be pretty lost. And I sure as hell wouldn't be out on this road in the middle of nowhere, Alaska. But we needed a fresh start, and I've dreamed of dog sledding since I was a kid. Marco made the races sound incredible. And from how you've dragged me up and down the streets of San Francisco, I think you have dog racing dreams too. Well, let's go assemble us a team, huh, Chomper? We need four more pups to start training. Oh, oh hey! Better. We just passed mile marker 32! So, the ad said that just after the mile marker, there would be a kennel with a dog sledding veteran we could adopt. Figure we can check out the pup, maybe add some experience to our team. What do you think? Uh... And you can't carry the sledding gear on your own. Even if you think you can. Yeah, Jumper. It's about teamwork. Iggy. Igloo. Where are you, girl? Oh. <laughs> you know you have a house right there. You don't have to be in the snow. That's cool. What, what can right. I do? Home is where you make it, huh, Iggy? Are you just a big old snowball? Big, fluffy, loud. Yeah. So oh. your owner said you're ready for an adventure. You love being out in the wild, but they've grown too old for the risks of what's out there. Well, I think we can make this happen. We've got a new life to start. Where's uh, Where's Chomper? Maybe he's in the back of the van. But everything should be, right? You only get nervous when you're doing something new. Let's awaken those nerves. It's just a few more miles to our next stop. We're looking for three more pups to fill out our team and yeah. help us get to our new home. More pups. All the pups. Noodle, huh? <laughs> I can see that. I said running alone wasn't enough for you. You were looking for some kind of challenge and a musher who would listen to you too. Well, I don't really know what I'm doing, so uh, having some help out there might be nice. Uh, yeah. You just need something to motivate you. Perhaps a new adventure, new family. Just know that I still have to make the calls and try to do what's best for us. Will that work for you? <laughs> Welcome to the Ready team, to Noodle. The rest of the new team. 
More dogs. Well, welcome to the van. This is Chomper. He's a city pup, but he's ready to get out there and learn how to become a sled dog. It sounds like you weren't too big a fan of indecision last time you raced. And that I should trust you when I'm not sure what's best. I wonder if we're going to crash our van because I spend all the time looking at the dogs and not the road. Um. How about I take the lead on most decisions, but if I'm unsure, you can help me out. But you can't just lay down in the middle of the trail, okay? We've got a new life to start. And once we're home, I'll build you a nice little den with a perfect nap zone. Hmm. How's that sound? <laughs> all right, you're right. Rest up. We've got plenty of running ahead of us. But lazy noodle. <laughs> I'm not sure if I'm picking you based on your skills or just because I can't pass, I can't up, pass up a pup. <laughs> but I am very excited about this team we've put together. I mean, if there's six stops to go, and we only need to adopt two more dogs. Okay, I mean, if we find one that we think will be problematic, then we'll pass them up. But I can't envisage that happening. We got a digger. Hey, girl. Are you Finn? Quite the uh, collection you've gathered here. Digging could be useful. Are these all things you found? They She's said so you're cute. pretty good with your nose. You tend to follow that more than anything else. Sometimes that led you to good things. Sometimes it led you to skunks. <laughs> your owners got tired of skunks, huh? Well... Yeah, a tracking dog. I think that'd be really useful. I don't really know my way out there. We might need some help to find more than just the trail. And while you might not be the best at running, it'd be great to have some help to know what to do. There's a lot I don't know about the Alaskan bush. And it's probably important that I try to recognize that I don't know what I don't know. <laughs> Okay, then. Seems like we could use a smart dog with a nose for the trail on our team. We'd love to have you, Finn. I feel like we should pass up the hey, next team. one just to I'd see like what to else is available. I'd like to introduce you all to Finn. Finn comes to us, well, from the Alaskan bush, just like many of you do, except for you, Chomper. So Finn, you like collecting things, huh? Chomper's the same. Every morning I wake up and he's piled all my shoes in my bed and is using them as a pillow. It's probably not quite the same. Your family said you'd never come back in from walks. You're always yearning to discover more out there. But you had a tendency to not know when you should stop and take a break. You just push and find yourself too tired to get back easily. That sounds like we'll have the right kind of adventures then. We're well, gonna Noodle keep going might pair quite well the way with them then, to, it looks like Noodle well, is um, wherever. maybe on the lazier end of the scale. I don't know what's gonna be out there. I know what I've read, and what's likely to happen. But if the past few years have taught me anything, it's that I can only plan to be surprised. Who's Jumper, next? you approve? We're happy to have you, Finn. Got Chomper on side, at least. Oh, you're right. <laughs> We're nearly at the next stop. Thanks. Y you mind if I give you a pet? Uh -huh. Okay, well, that's pretty good. Maybe we'll get to a pet eventually. But I will accept a cautious sniff. Oh, hey, Chomper. Chomper, you have to take it slow too, okay? She's not ready for you, your lack of personal boundaries. This is going so well. Well, we've adopted every pup we've met so far, and we have five more stops to find our final team member. So we've got a runner, we've got a experience, we've got a digger, tracker. You look like a force to be reckoned with. Ooh, this is like a running Gale, dog. is it? I don't think you'll be needing much motivation. You might need more than a nudge in the right direction, but looks like you'll set your sights on a destination and get there. I'll probably have to make sure you take some time to rest so we can keep this energy up. Again, I think Noodle would be a good pairing with that kind of dog. Um, I mean, I was going to say no, but I think like a, a strong runner is exactly what we need. So, yeah. Come on, Gale. You really want that window open. You always need the wind in your fur. Yeah, it can be hard to be cooped up. Did you know you're about to venture into the vast expanse of the Alaskan wilderness? Yeah, who knows what's out there. Snow, for sure. And plenty running. But I'm sure we'll be surprised by what we find. That's what adventure's all about. Do you think you're ready for that, girl? We've got a pretty good team assembled so far. 
some speed, some strength, some smarts. Yeah, yeah. I think we just might be all right. I think we've got a good mix, actually. <laughs> I can't wait to just let you loose and pull us along. I can't help but wondering what the other five dogs were. It's easy to tell that's your true calling. What was it, four dogs? Get you in your element, never let that wind leave your fur. I think I fell in love with every dog I met. <laughs> I mean, who could pass up a dog that's ready for a new home? Exactly. A new adventure. Are we going to crash? I can't believe it. We're really about to do this. We've got an incredible team here, and all that's left for us is to head out to our new home. I can't believe we made it to Alaska Chomper. Margo said to travel to the end of the road and then hop on the sled and travel a few days more. We'd know her cabin by the red lantern hanging by the door. And she gave us this map. It's a uh, not as helpful as I'd like. Okay. But it'll get us there. We just have to pick our path. So, you're gonna have to take the lead. It's a lot of responsibility looking out for a team, but I think you're ready for it. You ready to find our new home? <laughs> yeah, me too. All right, let's make sure we have what we need. We've got our team. Gail, Finn, Iggy, Noodle, and the sled is all ready to go. We've packed the bare essentials to get us started, but we're gonna have to live off the land once we get to our cabin, so we might as well start training for that now too, right? Two pieces of raw meat. Well, you pups can handle the uncooked raw and cold food. The kind we'll also find on the trail but I'm gonna have to cook that up if I don't want to freeze my insides. Hypothermia is not something I'm looking to try. We'll be able to set up camp once we get properly out on the trail. I scrounged up this old gun and a couple of bullets, just in case. So we'll make do with what we have. We can use them to hunt or keep them around in case we need to protect ourselves. It is the wilderness after all, you know, bears, moose, wolves. Skunks. Oh, and most importantly, we've got one med pack. I should be okay, able to so yeah. just up <clears throat> if something happens. As you might be able to tell, it's a bit of a survival game. Okay, well, I guess we should start. What do they say oh. again? Mush. Uh, mush on. So these are our starting resources for the look of it. I'm sure we'll be able to find more. The dogs are the dogs are steering. Not really doing too much. Do I guide them to go a particular way? I'm not sure I can. So I'm kind of leaning to the right. But I'm okay, here we go. Along the trail, you will run into encounters, have risks, but also bring back rewards. But also bring rewards. You won't survive without exploring, but going into encounters costs hunger. So if we look in the top right, uh, I would guess that the paw print is maybe dog condition, maybe uh, endurance. Maybe health, not sure. And the one on the right, top right is the our hunger meter, I guess. Yeah. Okay, Luke, so it's talking about current runs. So maybe a bit of a roguelike type thing going on then as well. But we'll see how we go. I don't know where we're going. Is that a squirrel up there? Why is it running so... Oh, it's a weasel. Uh, yeah, let's check out the encounters. Where did it go? I can only see a tree. Ah, there you are. You're not very good at hiding. Do you want to hunt a weasel? It's probably not a very good payoff, is it? Let's My just leave the haven't learned to climb yet, so you're safe up there. We will probably Who have knows? to hunt food, but a weasel's not going to go very far. Ready to go? Okay, tab is resources. Yep, yeah, okay. I mean, I'm not. I'm, this dog's energy meter. Here we go. Cro crossing a trail marker costs one energy. Okay. Uh, these are the types of trail marker, so we can see there is a 
sort of stone there. It's not one of those listed. Your run will end if you cross the trail marker when either your hunger meter or the dog's energy meter is empty. Okay, so there we go. We can see our energy is down, our hunger is down now. Looks like an elk or something up ahead. Or caribou. Oh, you pups see that? It's a caribou. Yeah, we'll stop. We'll, um, we'll, we'll hunt the caribou. Just stay there. E, hold breath. Oh, did I did I muck that up? I was coming back. I think yeah, I think I got Thank it. Thank you, Caribou. Circle. We appreciate you. Now for the part I like less. I'll meet you back at the sled, pups. So let's see how much food that gives us. It's we were at two. Hey, pups. It's added four, which is quite nice. Some more um, food. Our hu so we'll go a bit further, but our hunger is getting low. Two bullets left, team. All right, let's mush on. Got another trail marker there, so our um, dog's energy is going to go down. So we could camp, but now, um, here we don't say left and right. We use ha for left and g for right. So okay. let's go. Let's look at the map. So we're there. We want to. It's kind of straight ahead, isn't it? But I guess. More to the right. G. Trail marker coming up. Finn, what do you smell, girl? Is there something worth checking out up there? Yeah. Okay. Let's check it out. What you tracking, girl? We'll camp after Whoa, this. Oh, Finn, get out of there! No, it's a skunk. Finn. <sighs> Finn found a skunk. It was bound to happen. warned us. But hey, you followed your nose, and it could have been something amazing. We'll try again sometime. Thanks for right. holding down the sled, pups. So can I camp now? Let's be safe out there. I'm pressing C. Can I camp? Why can't I camp? C to camp. It didn't work out this time, Finn, but I trust what you can find. Camp, camp, You've camp, camp. You've got a camp. nose that shows you far more than I can see. And you're probably used to smelling like skunk by now. Camp. Where can I camp? I'm gonna die of hunger. Let's take a break. Yeah, yeah. Yes, thank you. We uh, set up a pretty good camp. Oh, We've got our meat all strung up to be out of reach of bears. In and we can make a fire. It'll be nice to cook up some food or warm my bones. And of course, I can check on all of you. Fill, eat our meat. Fill our, fill our hunger meter. Yes, please. Uh, use the dog bowl to feed our pups. Yep. And we can sleep, restoring maximum capacity loss by being tired. Um, all right. So, oh, we'll pet Chomper. Oh, you're just the best, Chomper. Look at him. Oh, good boy. Um, for the dogs. So what have we got? We've got pet gale. Eat some food. Well, we want to feed dogs. Good time. Chow down, pups. Oh, okay. So with the mouse wheel, I can scroll up to add some food. Look at Chomper's face, and there's no food in his bowl. <laughs> Don't worry, pup. There's going to be food. We got quite a lot. I mean, I quite like them to have big energy. So why don't we just feed them all of that caribou meat that we found? Mind you, we're going to have to have ones on it. Let's let's move it back a little bit. Um, so let's feed that to the dogs. That's cool. Uh, we don't need a med pack. We can pet noodle. Hi, noodle. Oh. This feeling more exciting to you. Yeah, okay. Let's just get some scratches in. Right. I'm just here to pet you. Understood. Okay. And Gail Iggy. Maybe a bit of a massage. Keep you loose for the trail. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Maybe a bit of a massage. Keep you loose for the trail. 
<laughs> there we go. And last of all, we've got Finn. Nice Finn. Aha. You did good out there. I don't mind you found a skunk. I trust you, Finn. You can trust me. But you still smell a little. Oh, Finn trusts us too. Good. Okay, well, how much do we get for eating food? Mm, maybe we should eat. No, we're not going to eat it raw. Let's start That would be nice. Um, okay, just a little birch bark, a little spark, and behold, fire. I'm ready to cook some food. Okay, so we can add... That's probably enough. So we've got one in reserve. But it, it seems like one meat adds two on our hunger meat, wooden meters. So let's do that. So we're all, we're all in pretty good shape. I don't think we need to sleep because uh, we don't have a hunger meat or anything. Dog's been petted. We, we've all eaten. I think we go back out. Back on the trail? Ready to go? Look at the map. Um, I thought we'd headed right. Oh, now what? G. Let's, let's head right still. I kind of want to. Okay, yeah, that's good. Uh, I think we go ahead a little while here then. What have we got? What have we got? I'm certain I read that owls are good omens. Or uh, wait. I remember, silent in flight, they only bring fright, who they call out to find victims till light. Um... It's not stop for owls. Look at them there. Okay. What we got? Is that... What's that? Gail, slow down. There's something up there. I think we should... Gail rushes in. It's a porcupine. Wow. Okay, Gail. Uh, I'm not even sure we should be messing with porcupines. Huh? See? They have a worse business end than skunks. I don't want to mess with that. Oh, Gail. Oh, Gail. I tried to warn you. A little pup. Hold still. I got you. You can't just rush into things. Especially things covered in spikes. <laughs> So it seems like the dog's personalities are going to have these sort of um, different effects go. within... Ooh, we're going across a... Oh, I'm sorry, girl. I wish I could provide better warnings about porcupines. They actually have a pointy end. I wish you didn't have to learn by doing. I know it's bothering yeah, you. Yes, so the dogs have different effects shot. within these encounters, it seems like. That's pretty cool. And do we go left around this lake? Room? I don't know what I'm thinking. And it's probably frozen over. Uh, Moodle? Should I be scared? What, what is we that? Got here? Uh, let's hunt. We've got some game. This shot should be a gimme. Sheesh, you're smaller than I thought. Was it worth a bullet? Doesn't look like it. One meat. Hey, look what I found. Another meal ready to go. <clears throat> Let's save our last bullet then for some... Only one bullet left. ...for a caribou. At least we've already got some food. we got two, so there's enough for me and the, the dogs to, to get some. Ready to go? Oh dear. Okay. Becoming tired. As time passes, the energy and hunger meters will lose capacity. We can see that in the top right. You see, we've lost uh, a blanked out segment. As you lose more capacity, you'll become tired and eventually exhausted. We can sleep at camp to restore lost capacity. Yeah. Okay, well, we can going well longer, I think. I all the parts I never wanted to. Who would have thought I'd expand my palate out here? Well, besides the meat. With a side of meat. And a moose bush of... <laughs> but we'll eat what we can get, right? And while I don't think I'll ever get used to killing my own food, 
I can do my best to make sure I make the most of each animal. Okay, how are we doing on the map? Okay, yeah, so the lake's off to our right. Now what? Uh, quick look at the map, I guess. G again? G! You know, we're actually doing pretty well. I mean, we're still alive. And we're getting closer to our new home. You know, just have to make it past some more trees. Snow. Probably some more snow. And then we'll be there. You pups look like an incredible team. You even move as one. I am very impressed with your sled dog instincts. You pulled us faster than I ever though. could have imagined. And it's been really nice not seeing any other people. It's just us in the world. I didn't expect to talk out loud this much, but we're really doing this. We're, I, I mean, I, I'm becoming a musher, like a real one. I think Margot would be proud. I still can't believe she gave us her old cabin and gear. We're making progress. We should be there soon Hey, so what's this coming up? Is this the lake? Is it frozen over? That's what I want to know. Looks like it. Ran on frozen lake. Okay, that's good. I can Oh, I don't like the cracking sound. Oh, wolves. Oh, hey. A, uh, a little wolf friend. It's okay. You can stay over there. The long dark. We don't mind. Mush, mush. Uh oh, okay. Let's start with a forced combat Let encounter. Let go! Chomper, save me! Just a scratch. A scratch from a giant wolf mouth. We can patch this up. We know how to do this. Yeah, well, there's our med kit. We've been injured. If you receive another injury, we will lose this run. We can use a med pack at camp to heal ourselves. Why did I go out there? Okay, let's have a quick look at the map. We just want to go right. straight on, on, I think, really. I'm assuming the river will be frozen over too. Now what? Um. Mm, let's hold. Ha! I thought things were going to plan. I really did, but now I'm not so sure. Wolves are following us around. This might be too much for us. But how do you know when something is actually for you? We'll prove we can handle anything. Look at what we've already done. We'll be alright. Don't you worry. Do you actually know our character's name? I don't know if they've said it out loud. I mean, you don't tend to say your own name out loud, do you? We could probably do with resting fairly it. soon. Um, ooh, huh. horror again. So I'm wondering if there's kind of like nodes on the map and we're choosing like a left or right rather than sort of... Yeah. There are so many tree stumps over there. Ah, uh, we ah uh, we can't actually cook more food, can we? We've run I'd out of wood. I'd feel a lot more comfortable if it didn't just feel like people disappeared here. Well, there's an axe here. Yeah, let's get some. Uh, I am just going to. Let's get to, some birch uh, wood or whatever to light a fire. Take this. I hope we find some more bullets as well. Gathering wood with an axe doesn't cost hunger. Okay. Find his keepers. Uh, I kind of feel like maybe I'm just rationalizing theft. But if I don't take it, <laughs> someone else will, right? So well, I might have left it here out? for Seems helping other people. Of birch here. Collect birch, yes please. That means we get another fire. Might it's get more so than one. much easier than ripping this off by hand. Looks like we're done here. Is it just the one? Just the one. Okay. Well, it means we can camp and rest. Thanks for and holding stuff. down the sled, pups. Um. This birch will really help. I think we're gonna stop again. All right. Let's mush on. Let's look for a good spot to camp. Uh, because, yeah, our hunger mark is going Let's take a break. We need to, uh, I don't know if we're going to get another break, injury. Pups. But I'm going to have to assume that we will. So we're going to use a med pack. Patch myself up. I shouldn't have rested. <sighs> and no more med packs. Um... Probably should fire light would be nice. fire. At 
At least I'm well practiced in fire starting. Now that we have an axe, we can uh, keep keep gathering that as well. So that's good. I'm um, ready to cook some food. I'm gonna need to eat food. Do I eat both? Because the dogs are doing all right. I think I will. Because it means we can do more encounters. The dog the dogs are fine, pretty much. Um, do we rest? I think we carry on for now. And we'll rest. In back a bit. on the trail. Maybe lose Let's another segment. I mean, we're not losing any segments that kind of matter yet, because they're not full anyway. Quick look at the map. I think I'll keep heading left. I'm worried that that sort of out grey outline is like a gorge or chasm or something. I kind of like to avoid that. So we'll continue to whore. Um, rather than G. There's something in that tree. Gail, you seem intrigued. Mm, we'll leave that yeah, for I'll now. Ignore it. Like a beaver or something. Do beavers climb trees? I don't think they do. Be a fat squirrel. Oh, now what? Uh, we're ah! going to as we said. Let's make sure that we go kind of around this uh, gorge. What, what I think is probably a gorge or something that we should probably avoid. <laughs> I mean, I wonder what's stopping us kind of just going straight, to be honest. What's this? Oh, it's a oh, little bear cub! I'm not going to mess with them. Might be a mama bear. Oh, where are you off to? If there's a baby bear, there will be a mama bear. And we are not equipped to deal with mama bear. <laughs> okay, we're over the river now, are we? That's good. I'll probably head right the next time we get a choice of directions. Whoa! Oh, there is a beaver after there. All right, dogs need to eat, so maybe, maybe we will. Maybe we'll get some wood here. Looks like you've done all the hard work. Hmm. Dogs are gonna need to eat. Okay, if we save it for a, if we can just find a caribou, let's take the birch bark. At least then we can get a fire going. Didn't even have to break a sweat for these. So we've got two fires. We can we can hunt the beaver as well. It's our last bullet. The dogs can go past two more markers, which isn't very many. And maybe we'll get two food off it. All right. I'm hoping we're going to find some more right bullets. Up. Perfect. Well, at least I know we'll have food tonight. Two. There we go. So we'll give both those to the dogs. We're doing all right for the time being. I'm back. I think we'll Another carry on ready to go. a little bit longer. This birch will really help. All right, let's mush on. Let's go past one more mile marker and then we'll camp. Right, we're tired. So we lost another segment no, now. Uh. Here. Okay, we'll okay. So the dogs the are tired now, so we don't want to we don't want to push them, so we're just gonna rest the next spot. There's a mile marker coming up, so that's good. There's something out there. Yep. Okay, let's just leave it because we want to camp. Do not want dogs to go past that mile marker. Camp? Come on, camp, camp, camp. Yes. We and we'll rest. We should be able to take well. care of ourselves here. Make sure the dogs are fed. Food time! Chow down, pups! Oh, they eat so much food. We can only get them up to three. Okay. We're out of bullets, so this is interesting. I'm not going to make a fire. Let's just uh, let's go to sleep and everyone Might be time to get up. some rest. I'm sure my stomach will be grumbling by morning, but the dogs will be energized. I wonder oh, if the sleep will to top sleep? up. I wonder if the sleeve will top up their meter. I hope it does. All right, everyone feeling better? Doesn't look like it. Finn? It seems like he's resource. She's resource guarding that hat. Did you take my beanie? <laughs> it kind of looks like you did. Are you comforted by my scent? Cause I think you're thinking about being my friend. Okay. Well, uh, I'll need that hat back before we go running, but you can keep it for now. 
Oh, look at the puppies. Um, I think that might be a good place to leave it, though. Um, oh, look at that. It's beautiful. Maybe we'll, each episode will kind of be a, a to, 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 to our sort of rest camp. Um, yeah, well, I mean, it's not going badly. However, we're out of medicine, we're out of ammo, and we're out of food. We've got three segments, so we can do uh, basically two more mile markers. We can do two more events, really. And, and then if we're going to a, a third event or a third mile marker, there's... There's a possibility that the, the game will end, or the run will end, which isn't ideal. Um, so yeah, so thanks very much for watching this first episode of The Red Lantern. Let's have a quick look at the progress we've made. I think I think we're probably about halfway. You know, I think we, I think we are getting there. But clearly we've used a lot of food. If we even find another caribou before we find ammo, we can't do much about it. But you never know. I don't know what's coming up. I've never played this before. It's quite excited to find out. Hopefully you've enjoyed it. If you did, then please hit the thumbs up button on the video. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you think about my this run, my pack that I've assembled, how I've done so far. Um, yeah, it's, it's a really cute game. It really is. I'm very much enjoying it. So, And I hope you are too. Um, and if you're watching this and haven't already subscribed to the channel, it would be amazing if you could do so. So thanks very much once again. And I'll hope to see you next time for more of The Red Lantern. Bye for now.